Hi Virgo, welcome. This is going to be a reading regarding your person's feelings towards you. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These are general messages and may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other signs, your other placements to see what else comes up for you. How do they feel about Virgo right now? What are their current feelings towards Virgo? Reconciliation. Someone from your past has returned into your life. Your person is wanting to return. <clears throat> but we have honeymoon here, enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. So obviously this person does want to um, return and have some time alone with you, you know, um, for a small percentage, this person could be planning a vacation or they could be planning a, what do you call it? A night out, like a dinner, a candlelit dinner, you know what I mean? They want time alone, I feel, when they reconcile with you. They want to speak to you alone, one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, too many cards. What else do we have for this person's feelings towards Virgo? Okay. True love and give your relationship a chance. I feel right away that this person believes in their heart that this is true love and they want to give this a chance this is why the reconciliation card is here this is why they may really put in the effort to make a very romantic dinner or vacation or something of the sort um because they believe this is true love and they believe it deserves a chance i strongly feel that like no doubt i don't know why but you know usually i'll get under the person and see them as the bad guy when you know, they do things to hurt each individual sign. But for once, I'm seeing genuine love here. I can't knock your person today. <clears throat> also, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There could be a proposal for some of you. I know it's bad for me to, like, throw it out there for so many people. But because of this honeymoon card, right, and the reconciliation and everything else, I just feel mostly with this card though, that there's some kind of dinner planned or some kind of romantic evening planned or vacation planned. And then when I see the engagement, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, you know, something's up, okay? This person has literally has something in their pocket to hand to you, maybe, some of you, okay? That's, it's just general reading, so don't, you know, don't assume, just go with the flow. But I am seeing either this person wants to go from just talking to official relationship or from relationship to engagement. But they want to give this relationship a chance for sure. Let me see what's going on with this honeymoon card. Because it's really like, it's really on my case, this card. Why is this honeymoon card here? It's really calling me. Like, why is this honeymoon card here for Virgo? Honeymoon. Okay. Let's see, you see what I mean? This is a this is a marriage card, right? But we have the high priestess in reverse. So this person is quite unsure. So for some of you, they might get cold feet. Others of you, they do want commitment. I feel like they've been waiting for a while and watching to see um, if this is the relationship or the marriage that they want. You know, but we do have the ten of the ten of uh, pentacles here, so they're gonna propose some kind of stable situation, be it an re official relationship or an engagement. You know, for sure. But if if this is happening too soon, like you met two months ago and they want to propose, red flag. Okay, red flag. If it's too soon, red flag with the high priestess in reverse. If you've been together for years and years, or you've been or for at least more than a year, then fine, but too soon is a red flag. Okay, so for male or female, um, women propose to, okay? Doesn't mean you're gonna be proposed to if you're a man, but maybe your person wants to apologize to you in a really romantic way, make up with you in a really rom romantic way. 
I'm smelling cologne and seeing a watch. So maybe they're buying you cologne or a watch to make up, uh, for, make up with you if they've done something terrible. Okay, so no, they might not get on one knee and propose to you and embarrass you in front of your boys, but there may be a gift. Okay, so let me see what else we have for Virgo before we get into the spread. What else is going on with this person's feelings? Spiritual strength. Firm foundation, you see, they want that firm foundation, that commitment, either official relationship or marriage, fulfillment of wishes, boredom and discontent and wisdom. They're probably bored with the way things have been going, like not being official, or if there's separation, they're definitely bored of being alone. Okay, they want to... They want to get with you. Um, I feel like for some of you with this whole isolation thing going on around the world, I'm hearing that they, it may have brought some things to perspective for this person. Like, um, like, for example, we could have been together in the same house going through it, but we're not because we're not committed. We're in separate houses and can't see each other. So that's one thing I'm hearing. Like this whole thing has brought things into perspective for this person. And another thing is that they're, they've kind of grown spiritually, you know, and are now able to see who their soulmate is, what true love really is, and what they should really go for, you know. So, let's get into the spread. How do they feel about Virgo right now? Their current feelings towards Virgo. Current feelings towards Virgo. This is current. This can be for the rest of March. This could go into April. But I'm doing it for right now. Because that's how the spirit world works. How are they currently feeling about Virgo? It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person you're dealing with. This person is feeling quite passionate here. Okay, quite passionate. But for some of you, you, you might be out of their league. They might be feeling a little bit of self-doubt here. It could be dealing with a fellow Virgo. We have the Hermit card here. Um, let's see. Okay, lovers. Could be a Gemini. This person does want commitment with the world here. They want commitment for sure. But I feel like they're waiting for the right moment. They're waiting, there could be an Aquarius with Virgo, as I said, uh, Gemini, but they may feel like you're a little bit out of their league and I feel like they're looking for what's really best for them. Their feelings towards you this person at the moment, they're currently, especially with spiritual strength, I feel like they're still on this spiritual journey. The same journey that has made them realize their true love for you, that they want to reconnect with you. If they haven't reconnected yet, it's because they're still on this journey right now with this hermit mode, this hermit card going on. How they see the relationship is the Eight of Swords. Right now, it just seems stuck in one place. They know that they can easily make it better, but right now... They're going through the stuff they're going through at the moment, okay? They know that they want to make the effort and give the relationship a chance. They're seeing you as a will of fortune. They feel very lucky to have you in their life. They may feel like you're a little bit changey as well. Maybe your moods change quite a bit up and down, or maybe you're not... Um, some of you might not be straightforward about what you want with this person, giving them mixed signals, but for the most part, I feel like this is more of a luck thing, like they feel lucky to have had you because we have the star card here as well. So we have the nine of pentacles here. This person does not want to be single, that's for sure. They don't want this relationship to end and have them end up single and have to find someone else and try to connect with someone else. I feel like they don't want that. They don't want to 
start over. They feel like they've found the one, you know. It's just a matter of them getting in line with their spirituality and making this work, okay. They want to be able to balance the two. They want to be able to have everything, you know, to, to make things right with you and have work going on and have their spiritual journey going on. But it's all too much. I feel like they want to proceed with the spiritual journey and then, you know, everything else follows after. But they are waiting for the right moment. Right now, they're trying to grow as a person. They're really sowing seeds into the universe to better themselves, okay? We have the Knight of Wands here. There's a lot of passion going on in this relationship. The passion is still there, even though this person is a little bit absent. Again, could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but again, this person does really want completion here. They want the world. They want to look no further, is what I really feel. They don't want to start over with someone new at all. It's so uncomfortable for them. It's like, I've, I've, I've been with this person. This is the right person for me. I just need to, to show them with my actions that I'm ready. That's what I'm getting from this person. But they know that that's all they have to do to get this relationship back on track. However, they're a little bit preoccupied with their spiritual journey. They're trying to get that. I feel like they need to get themselves right. This is the message I'm hearing from them that they need to get. Like, I need to get myself right before I can go into this relationship. If they come to you halfway, everything could fall apart. The spiritual journey, the relationship, everything could fall apart. They want to do it properly and make it work is what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's see. Oh my gosh, my battery's dying. Hold on a sec. Oopsie. Okay. 20 percent. Hopefully it would hopefully it lasts. Okay, um why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Okay. They're working on the inner world. There's feeling a lot of instability and rejection here. This person's going through some kind of depression that you don't know about. They feel rejected. It doesn't mean that they feel rejected by you. It could be, but they're feeling rejected in general. This looks like depression to me. Those, like if you Google the symptoms of depression, it's like, you know, those low feelings, those self-sabotaging feelings, feelings of worthlessness, feeling unstable. This is, this is all clarifying the hermit. So they could be feeling rejected by you for some of you, but if, if it's not, then it's definitely just by the world in general. Maybe their childhood issues bring this kind, these kind of feelings up, these kinds of feelings. Why is the Eight of Swords here? So we have the Empress in reverse. Could be a Libra, some of you are dealing with. Power in reverse. They know what it takes to rebuild this relationship, but right now they're, they're too, you know, they don't have the strength to do it. They're not, they don't have the strength to rebuild this relationship. It's, they know it's gonna take strength. They know it's gonna have to be totally re rebuilt. The trust is gonna have to be rebuilt. rebuilt. And the there's just, the Empress is in reverse. It's like not, it's not growing at, at the moment, you know, as much as they want it to. It's not growing at the moment and they know this. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they feel like you're sometimes around and sometimes really busy and distant. Okay, they, f they feel like you're currently distant right now. Busy with work, um, busy with life, juggling a, juggling a lot of things in your life. Okay, I, f I just feel like they, <clears throat> they know that you're busy, so they're also focused on their journey and 
it's like for now they, they've just accepted that as the current reality so nine of pentacles why is the nine of pentacles here they don't want to be single to be single would be disappointing to them they'll feel totally rejected as, as if they don't already you know i feel oh my gosh disappointment and rejection is what they'd feel without you they don't want to be single they don't want to be free they don't want to be single at all oh my god i feel i feel so bad for this person they don't want to be single and if they're on a spiritual journey if they were one way in the past the spiritual journey will totally change them so if they were horrible in the past believe that they're on the way to being a better person you know why is the two of pentacles here yeah they don't want to risk it they don't want to risk um go slipping back into old ways if they try to juggle this journey and being with you they're going to slip back into their old ways and there'll be no chance to make this work you know why is the knight of wands here caused you a lot of pain in the past maybe a lot of pain in the past because of maybe some play aways in the past with this person while you were together they could have there could have been uh, uh deception there could have been deception betrayal in your connection for some of you because i am seeing the lovers here this could if there's no deception then this is definitely a soulmate connection and everything's fine but there could have been things that happened in the past but i am seeing some third party situation in the past when you guys were together now they're on this journey to change to improve themselves why is the world here well they're tired of waiting it's too many they're tired of waiting here They really want to come out of the cold at this point they're tired of waiting they're afraid to come forward but they're tired of being out in the cold so eventually they're gonna come forward okay eventually they'll come they'll come forward either that or they'll they'll give up but i do see that they want to give this a chance so it's like maybe give them a sign that you're interested in them given given the relationship a chance i feel like if they don't get a sign they're just gonna stay negative and probably not pursue okay so let's get more on this person's feelings all right how do they feel about virgo how do they feel about virgo right now Queen of Cups. How do they feel? So there's a lot of emotion here. They wanna they want a yes answer from you. They want you to be on board, but they feel that you are in this Queen of Swords in reverse energy. So they want you to be on the same page as them emotionally, but they fear this Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like they won't have all the tools to make it work they want to come out of conflict and anxiety so i feel like they're doing all the spiritual work they can do they may have had manipulative ways in the past i've seen that with the knight of wands as well that they are trying to they're trying to get rid of these feelings these horrible ways they see that it's not working it hasn't worked for them throughout their relationships they're trying to fix that if they come out of this journey too soon they won't be totally it's like coming out of rehab when you haven't fully come off the 
the substance that you were addicted to you're gonna fall back into it you know you have to complete the you have to complete the season or whatever you call it the, he has to this person has to complete their journey of finding themselves of being a better version of themselves or else it's slipping back into old ways nobody wants that you definitely don't want that okay um how, do, how are they viewing how are they viewing uh virgo how are they viewing virgo right now how are they viewing you we have the devil feeling very attached they may feel like you have a hold on them it may also feel like you're living your life right now. You're not really connected to anyone. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But yeah, they want to come forward. The Knight of Cups, but... They feel, they're feeling more and more addicted to you. But they feel like you are... Some of you, this person may feel like you that you're partying, you know. Not all of you. This this person doesn't see you as really flirting, but more like more like um, partying or just being a free spirit, someone they can't tie down, and this is making them more and more obsessed, more and more tied to you. It's making them want to come come forward. Let's drop the blooming card. <laughs> Okay, let me see something about this Knight of Cups. So, yeah, it's all spiritual. It's like they're kind of realizing, but then that Empress keeps coming out in reverse. Like this person may have some insecurities going on. Probably has some insecurities going on here. All right, let me look at the Oracle cards. So you could be dealing with a Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini. Oh boy. Okay. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. I haven't seen Scorpio energy all day. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio has been mysterious today. Or a Pisces, meditate and contemplate. The energy is gaining momentum. Expect powerful change, show the world the real you. There's major change, like this person's making changes. They could be meditating a lot, contemplating, thinking. Releasing the negativity, both of you do. Everyone needs to release negativity. We have the energies gaining momentum, so I feel like their journey is taking them somewhere and making them realize certain things, you know? Making them realize certain things about this connection. Okay. So, let's see. Messages for Virgo. You're ready. Listen to your intuition. Perfect timing. So they'll they'll be ready in perfect timing. Ask your angels. I feel like I feel like you're needing to focus on your own journey at the moment. That's what I feel because while this person's on their own journey, they're gonna take a while, not forever, but a while, for the best. Why is this card here, energy gaining momentum? There's been separation and instability. feel like this person is just waiting to waiting for the right moment 
to where they feel they can offer you the stability <clears throat> right now i feel like they feel like they can't you could be dealing with a pisces they kind of doubt themselves on what they can do and it's it's just doubt you know but it's also fear but it's also for the best because they don't want to ruin this all right they don't want to ruin this let's clarify powerful change okay these two decide to come out right away and you know the tower is about powerful change and the leap the the fool is about a leap of faith and a new beginning so expect powerful change it's going to be quite a shocking change i feel like kind of weird that these cards came out together like this let me get one more expects powerful change yep ten of pentacles the ultimate fulfillment the stability the family the love so the tower blows up something something happens triggers a new beginning the powerful change maybe it's this person's spiritual awakening maybe you guys run into each other and have a deep conversation something big happens that triggers a new beginning here for you guys that's what i see but remember i just feel like they want they, they feel this true love they want to give this relationship a chance they are going to reconcile they want to do it one-on-one -on -one. they want to do it special they want to have a special evening or a special vacation so that they can give you that proposal whether it's to become official boyfriend and girlfriend or boyfriend and boyfriend or girlfriend and girlfriend or it's to be married you know to be engaged to be married they want to take something to the next level but it's important to give them time so that they can become you know the person they need to be in order to be this to be your life partner you know to not waste your time to not come back with the same negative bs okay they're finding true wisdom here and it's worth the wait rather than to interrupt it and get this half changed person and this half a-hole you know or half unfaithful person so give it time focus on you know that something shocking will happen and a new beginning will be birthed okay so we have lovers gemini energy virgo energy scorpio energy pisces we have a little bit of aries we have pisces again taurus virgo taurus virgo cap taurus virgo cap yeah taurus virgo capricorn it didn't sound right for a second there <laughs> So, um, oh yeah, Aquarius as well. This is how your person feels, Virgo. If this didn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements and see what else is going on with your person. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.